Welcome to the Idaho Fish and Game MK Nature Center. Today you'll be learning about beavers. Beavers are one of my favorite animals because their bodies and behavior are so interesting and unique. Today we probably won't see a real beaver outside at the Nature Center, but they do visit here. We see their tracks in the snow and we see chewed branches. Every once in a while a whole tree gets chewed down during the night and only one animal can do that, the beaver. Beavers like the Nature Center because we have everything they need. We have great habitat for beavers. Remember, habitat is food, water, shelter, and space. And although we don't have enough habitat for a lot of beavers to live here, we do have enough for beavers to visit. So let's get started. Do you see the beaver in this picture? This picture was taken at the Nature Center. A little later, you'll be walking over that bridge. It's in the top of the picture. Beavers are mammals, just like us. All mammals have hair. They do not lay eggs, they're warm-blooded, and they give their babies milk. So baby beavers drink milk just like human babies. Beavers are also nocturnal. Most of you know what that means. It's when animals are active at night and rest during the day. Beavers are rodents. Can you think of other animals that are rodents? I bet you are thinking of mice, squirrels, rats, animals like that. Yep, they're all rodents with the beaver. Beavers are semi-aquatic, and that is a big word for animals that live both on land and in the water. But honestly, beavers are safer, faster, and more comfortable when they're in the water. Beavers can live and work in the water because they have special features or adaptations to help them survive. They have a bunch of features on their bodies that we don't have because we don't have to live in the water or eat wood. I'm going to call these features on the beaver's body adaptations. Remember that adaptations help the beaver survive in their watery habitat. Adaptations could also be behavior or an instinct that a beaver have. Let's start looking at their adaptations. The first adaptation I want to show you is the beaver's special underwater eyelid. That's right, they have a clear eyelid, much like a pair of goggles. The beaver in this picture is underwater with his eyes open. Beavers have a lot of work to do underwater. They need to be able to see, to store their food underwater, and get in and out of their lodge. Storing food is a behavior that helps the beaver survive in the winter. We're going to talk more about that one later. But for now, the adaptation I want you to remember is this clear eyelid, also called a nictitating membrane. The second adaptation a beaver has to live near water are special ears. Have you ever gotten water in your ears at the swimming pool? It's kind of uncomfortable and annoying. Beavers don't really have time to get water out of their ears, so their ears have a special flap that closes when they go underwater, like an earplug. Their nose has a flap too. Getting water up your nose burns and stings. We have to blow bubbles out of our nose when we go underwater, but beavers can be underwater for 15 minutes at a time and you can't blow bubbles that long. So their nose flaps help keep water out of their noses. Like I mentioned earlier, beavers have work to do underwater, including carrying branches to their babies, pushing sticks into the mud at the bottom of the pond, and building dams. They can't do all that if water is going down their throat. Have you ever tried to swallow water and it goes down the wrong tube and you have to cough? Beavers have a flap in the back of their throat to stop water from choking them when they're carrying sticks underwater. Now for the fifth adaptation, their teeth. Beavers have four large incisors or front teeth that help them chew. All rodents have the same tooth pattern. These teeth are super strong with the front of the tooth orange and slightly harder than the back of the tooth which is white. This allows the white side or the back side to wear away just a little faster making the teeth very sharp like a chisel. Rodent teeth also never stop growing. This is important because all rodents chew a lot. If their teeth did not grow their entire life, they would wear their teeth away before they got old. Beavers have super thick, soft, and waterproof fur. Being waterproof is a great adaptation for a water mammal. Beavers spread oil on their fur to make it waterproof. After the oil is spread on their fur, they can go underwater without even getting their skin wet. This adaptation helps keep them warm. Beavers have webbed feet. You know other animals with webbed feet, and where do all webbed-footed animals live? Near the water. Beavers must be able to swim fast away from predators and through the water to do their work. Probably the most famous part of a beaver is its tail. 
The tail helps the beaver in more than one way. Beavers store fat inside their tail. That helps them survive the winter if food is hard to find. The tail also helps them steer underwater like a boat paddle. The tail can also be slapped down on the surface of the water, and when a beaver does that, it makes a very loud noise to tell the other beavers to get underwater because danger is near. We have talked about eight body adaptations of the beaver. Clear eyelids, ear flaps, nose flaps, mouth flaps, sharp teeth, waterproof fur, webbed feet, and an amazing tail. Now we're going to talk about some of the behaviors that help them survive. Beavers do not hibernate or migrate. They have to live through the winter. Beavers live in some of the coldest places in North America. In order to survive a winter, a beaver must store food. Storing food can explain most beaver behavior. Let me explain. In the summer, beavers prefer water lily leaves, cottonwood leaves, and aquatic plants. But in the winter, these food items are not available. Food for winter must be gathered and stored in a safe place. To do this, they make a dam out of mud, sticks, and rocks to slow the flow of the stream and to create a lake or a pond behind the dam. Then they chop down trees and twigs and take them to the bottom of the lake they push them into the mud to keep them fresh and cold for winter. Once food is stored, they can start to make their lodge where they will be able to be safe and warm and have access to their underwater refrigerator. Three beaver behaviors that we have talked about are dam building, lodge building, and food storage. These three behavior adaptations help beavers survive the winter. Let's talk a little more about those lodges. Most of us imagine a beaver lodge or house in the middle of the pond like the one shown here. But not all beaver lodges are out in the middle. It takes a lot of work to build a lodge out in the middle of the pond. But if a beaver family can do it, they sure will. It helps keep them safe from predators and it keeps them close to their food supply. Another option is building the lodge on the side of the pond like this one. This is not quite as safe, but a lot easier and faster to build. It allows the beavers to get underwater to get their food if the top of the water freezes over in the winter. This picture shows what it might look like on the inside of a beaver lodge. Babies inside, parents going in and out bringing food, and maybe even a beaver on top making repairs. Beaver lodges have two doors. Beavers build two doors for a reason. This is a behavior and an instinct that helps them survive. Can you think of a reason to have two doors? Think about your own house. I also like this picture because it shows that the beaver lodge has an air hole through the top so they can breathe. Also, look underwater. You can see their refrigerator. We've talked a lot about beavers' bodies and behavior, their adaptations. Now I want to talk about how beavers help other animals by making habitat. Some Native American cultures call the beaver the sacred center. Sacred means really important, and center, well, you know what that means. They call the beaver the sacred center because when beavers create a dam and lodge, the pond is amazing habitat for other animals. All animals need water and many animals prefer slow moving water to fast water. Here's just a few animals that prefer the still water of a beaver pond rather than a creek. This is kind of a strange picture to be showing in a beaver presentation, but look where this deer is standing. Look at what time of year it is. This deer could be enjoying the water in the fall because of a beaver. Remember, beaver dams hold back water. As snow melts off the mountains in the spring, creeks and rivers start to flow downhill. If beavers are not there to build dams, all the water rushes down in the spring, making a flood. But if beaver dams are there, the water is held back and it's let out slowly all year long. Beaver dams not only hold water for later, but they also clean the water. Most of you know that fast water can carry a lot of stuff in it, like dirt, sand, and rocks. Dirt, sand, and rocks are called sediment, and when water slows down, the sediment is dropped to the bottom. Beaver dams slow water, so dirt, sand, and rocks are dropped above the beaver dam. The water that flows out of the bottom of the dam is more clear and cleaner. Clean water helps a lot of animals, including us. Some animals are predators of beaver. This means they kill them for food. Though this is kind of sad, that is how nature works. Some animals, like the beaver, are plant eaters. Some animals, like the weasel, are meat eaters. This is how nature works, and it's important that all the parts are there. Here's a picture of a simple food chain. 
Notice that the beavers are lower on the food chain. They're herbivores or plant eaters. A mink might kill a beaver, and then an eagle might swoop down and kill the mink. A job that an animal has in nature is called its niche or ecological niche. A beaver has several niches or jobs. Remember, beavers help other animals by building a pond habitat. They hold water back in the mountains until fall, and their dams clean the water. Sometimes a beaver is even another animal's food source. Now it's time to go outside and look for beaver clues. While walking around the nature center, look for the dam in the lodge, but also look for the beaver chewed sticks and logs. Keep in mind all the cool things we learned about the beaver's body that helps them survive in this habitat. And don't forget about those adaptations that are behaviors and how that helps them survive. Since you probably won't see a beaver today, you might pay extra attention to how other animals are enjoying the habitat that the beavers created for them at the nature center.